Hello, welcome to Kate's Egg. Today is another day on the farm in the winter and I'm going to show you what that looks like. Is this the grain cart tractor? Yeah. Oh no, this is the, the new tractor, the new old one. Yeah. And this is Darcy. No. <laughs> Our wonderful employee who's been with us since before I was born. Just about. I think you were. Was the hose on that already? Darcy? No, I put one on. Oh. Just tractor maintenance. Yeah. The tractor's pretty muddy right now. Go in the cab here. Oh, we have the shop cat over here. And the cat's name is Cat. She's a little shy, though. They got to be flexible where that place can move. Yeah, well, they, they got, got a slip, they got a collar on there. This bolt's got a big collar that goes back to there and tightens up. Uh, yeah. How has winter farm maintenance been going, Darcy? Well, when I'm here, not bad. I've only worked probably six, seven days this first year. Oh, really? I only come out when there's something to do. What is your favorite type of farm maintenance? I suppose I like the tractor. Yes. You're by yourself. That's very nice. Yeah. And it's probably very rewarding to maintenance the tractor now and then yeah. get to drive it the rest of the year. Yeah. Well, I still got to do the other one that I drive. I do drive this one once in a while. And this one pulls one of the drills, which is we're getting ready for seeding. Yeah. That's coming up, though. Yes. It's all weather dependent, though, and farming has a lot of variables. Yeah. And that's one that we can't control. No. But the one we can control is making sure the tractors run. Yeah. That's, so you don't want to break it down when you're... No. That would be very bad. Hi, Grandpa. When I when we had them little Marvel D John Deere's, that tractor that tire is bigger than the tractor used to be. Really? Yes, about that high. And just two two wheels to push it. That look how big that thing is. It's crazy. This is the one I drove for seeding. Is it? Lots of horsepower there. Yes, there is. Oh, is that the filter? Yeah. What are they doing, changing the oil? Yes. Well, you never know what will come of this. They have them bigger than that now. Yes, they do. What are you working on, Dad? I've just forgot how many gallons of oil this thing takes. In the big tractor book. Yeah, 14.8 gallons. 38 gallons in the transmission. This tractor pulls our flex coil drill, and then the other tractor pulls our John Deere drill. So it has to have an extra screen to control the drill. So this is the tractor monitor, and then that is the implements monitor, or the drill. How many horsepower is this, Dad? 530, maybe, hard to say. That's a big tractor. It takes 14.8 gallons. Oil? Yes. That's a lot of oil. Do we want to blow that out with the old filter? This don't even look dirty. Yeah, I don't know when they change the, the stuff in this line. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Over there. But I'm so ladders anyway. Oh. <laughs> so now it's in the. Yeah, it looks like it's in the field now. Now, Dad and I are headed to town because we ran out of oil for the big tractor and we have to go pick some up. Yeah, 55 gallon barrel of it. So, quite a bit of oil. outside in the wheat field that was planted this last fall and I actually didn't seed this by myself but it was when I was taking lessons in the tractor with Uncle Chris. This is what the wheat looks like so it is starting to come up as you can see because it's winter wheat and it needs to freeze in order to produce heads later on in its life you can see it's kind of brown. 
here's green. So you can kind of see the rows. You can especially see them here. And like I said, it's brown right now because it froze, but it will produce hopefully a good crop. Here's some more wheat. This is the half of the field Darcy seeded and then the other half I seeded with Uncle Chris. Some areas it's not coming up like right here. But overall, it looks like we're gonna have a wheat crop this year. So that is just fantastic and I'm very excited to show you the whole growing process of the wheat and you got to see it planted, soon you'll be able to see it harvested. It's so amazing to be in the field harrowing and then eventually seeding the next fall and planting the seed, going and purchasing it, deciding what fields you want to seed with what crops depending on how much moisture that particular field has and the composition of the soil because different crops provide different nutrients to the soil. So if you do a soil test and notice that your soil is very deficient in a particular nutrient, you might want to plant a crop that will replenish the soil of that nutrient. And that's what fascinates me about soil and farming is there's so many different variables and lots you can't control. For example, the weather, there are many variables you can control with enough research and the technology we have today is just incredible. We've had very dry years, and if you plant wheat every single year, it just sucks the moisture out of the ground. So you'll have to then do a crop rotation and plant something else that has a deeper root system. So because wheat has a very short root system, so it will take all of the moisture from the top of the soil. But if you plant something that goes down a bit further, then you might have moisture. So there's different layers of soil, and your top layer might have no moisture, and your bottom layers might have moisture. Now we're going back in the pickup to go and get oil. Our excursion out in the field is over for now. What is the difference between a high speed disc and a normal disc? Your palms allow you to go faster with it. Look at all the combines. Yeah. We're now at John Deere to get some parts. You know what I should do is, being how we're not ready to go yet, is I should probably pop one of these off and bring it in. Okay. Thank you for your help. Yep. I'm here with Tim from Frontline Egg Solutions and you have been so wonderful helping us find our parts. So thank you very much. Yep. Why don't you take that other one without the plastic? The hydraulic oil. Oh, well don't take that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. drove onto the pavement so it would be nice for you. You're going to run into the thing. Okay. Oh, easy now. Whoa, easy. Let me get up here. <laughs> you need to probably call a truck. Like yeah. <laughs> well, I have a, a thing on the back. <laughs> Give you a little uh, lift to get out with. How's that? You just get it slid, slid back on the rubber and it'll stay there. Thank you. That's Thanks, a cool Tim. forklift. That's a nice forklift. Yeah. Beats manually. Let me wouldn't catch me doing it anymore. No, me neither. Bye. See you, Tim. Here's the flex coil drill that the tractor inside pulls and actually the drill that I was pulling when I went seeding. And we just made it back to the farm. What are you up to now, Darcy? I'm just getting the barrel ready. Oh, 
Got it. And that's got a little number thing somewhere. Oh, on the edge of the gauge. You want to go get that thing. Very cool. What did you used to have to do? Put it in five, you know, two and a half gallon jugs and yeah. bring it over to the ladder. Yeah, because it laid on the stand flat and we had to open the valve wire here and fill the jug and, and then carry the jug over and put it in the thing. And oh, wow. So this is deluxe. Yeah, it is deluxe for us. How long have we had this for? What, half a year, a year? Yeah, they just got it for spring. Or last spring, yeah. But we didn't have it really set up till about seven. <laughs> Maybe we ought to put it back in the barrel till You're yeah, probably good. good now, huh? <laughs> <laughs> We did the black truck out here, and we just left it sitting at the door and run this square right. out to the black truck. Because you got quite a bit of holes, don't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it goes clear out there. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and learned a little bit more about all the hard work it, that goes into maintenancing your equipment so you can get it out in the field running and raising crops that will eventually end up on your table. Make sure to like and subscribe for more awesome farming videos. Thank you again for watching. Bye!